So before we get into today's video, I wanna let you know about a giveaway. Two lucky viewers are gonna win an entire setup like this, every single product that's in front of me. Just make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and then leave your Twitter handle down in the comments for your chance to win this entire setup. All right. I got a bunch of products here, part of your smart home because your home is dumb and it's time for it to get smart. That's what we're gonna do here today. We have a bunch of products from Go Sund including smart switches, smart power strip. We got these LED lights that actually react to the music because your home is dumb. This is a bedside lamp with 16 million colors, 350 lumens. Oh yeah, look at that. Voice control as well. So you can actually control it through Amazon Alexa or it also works with Google Assistant. Full RGB, dimmable. Very nice. They sell light bulbs also. This is a Wi-Fi LED smart bulb. And I was surprised I looked into this. I went on Amazon and it's all kinds of reviews. You can check it out for yourself. So they've actually moved quite a few of these, but this will go into any kind of typical lamp style outlet or light fixture and give you the same smart control within the app. Actually, everything will talk to each other. Everything will be available to modify and adjust within a single app. Let's start with this one, the bedside lamp, because your home is dumb. Cool, so yeah, I, I kind of like a nice little ambient light beside the bed, especially one that I can control with my phone remotely. And RGB is cool. You could have, you know, I don't know, like relaxing green or ocean blue. And it's kind of a diffuse, uh, and you know it's gonna be diffuse because it has this opaque look on the outside. It'll just have a glow to it. Tap the top twice in succession for quick switch. So it has a tap input. I guess locally you can interact with it without needing to use the app if you choose to. It has a brightness slider. Jesus Louise. Also in the package, I presume we're gonna have to have a power brick, at least the USB cable. USB cable, power brick, pretty straightforward stuff. Okay, next up, let's move to the smart bulb. Once again, 16 million colors. So you got the full RGB status inside of here as well. And it will be controlled through the same app. So you could even adjust them simultaneously. The light that you have uh, overhead in your room and the lamp, you can have a match up or something like that. 18.2 years based on three hours a day. I mean, if you don't have LED bulbs in the first place, I know a lot of people already do. Maybe you don't have RGB, but the big benefit here is you really don't have to change them. You get up there 18 years later, come back. So we got four of those. This is the smart power strip. And I presume what's gonna happen here is I can control the power to a number of devices that happen to be plugged into it. And the one I have is in black, even though the one on the box is white, so I presume there's more than one color available. Gives you three typical power ports, as well as three USB ports, USB-A ports, and a big power switch with an LED indicator around it. So this is another one you could put on the nightstand, charge up your variety of devices, and then control it through the app as well. This is the smart LED light strip, 9.2 feet voice control, and I believe it's responsive to music as well. Sync lights to your favorite song and explore how lights change with the rhythm. So it's responsive to the rhythm. Yeah, so it's this tiny little strip on a reel. So you just roll that baby out. It's got 3M sticky on the backside. You could stick it to anything. You could stick it to the back of a cabinet, to the back of a desk, but obviously the in intention here is around a TV, ideally and you get the audio responsiveness for even potentially more immersion. There are these little sticky clips as well, if you wanna mount it that way, I presume. And it's getting power over USB type A. So these four pins are gonna plug into this section right here. Just another extra way to keep it secure. They include some black stickers in there as well. Last one is the smart light switch. Another nice thing about these is just how simple they look. I mean, it's got a nice tactile click to it as well. This one, look at that. You get the nice, satisfying, oh yeah, I hit it, I hit it. I'm saving time, I hit it, on, off. So that's nice, because your home is dumb.
These are actually easier to install than you might think. Look at this, two wires sticking out. Will Do was just telling me that he was installing these and uh, even he was capable. So I don't know if you know Will Do, but that's... First one I want to try out here, I'm going to go ahead and plug in the bedside lamp. And you can see a nice subtle glow comes up straight away and it's blinking, which I presume means it's in pairing mode. So I'm just gonna grab this phone over here. So we got the bedside lamp already configured and I'll show you how to add another device to the group. So I have this bulb inside of this lamp over here. So I'm gonna go to lighting, select Wi-Fi bulb. There we go. Confirm that it's blinking rapidly. This is essentially just pairing mode. You can see the blinking stopped, so it's adding the device. Done. And look at that, now we have two. We had a bulb, we had a bedside table, of course, as you add more components to this group, you'll see them there as well. You can see I could go in there and select a blue or whatever color I might want, and then once again, just adjust the brightness on the color. There's also scenes that are available. Look at this, night, reading, working, leisure. What about colorful? Does it change? Oh, changes. Gorgeous. Oh, this one does the, this is the, this is the slow moving RGB. And this also has a music setting to be responsive to music responsive to music or any audio for that matter responsive to music and it's actually using the microphone on the phone in order to respond like that so any audio that the phone picked up would have a similar effect to that ooh see that i set up a tap to run i can control either of these independently like this like that, or I can set up a scene for an entire room, click that, and then you can see they match up. So if you had multiple bulbs, or you wanted the bulb to interact with the lamp, or you wanted it all to interact with the strip that goes across the TV, you could have everything match up if you chose to. Now, the power strip's kind of cool because you can control all these separate outlets independently. So switch one, two, three, and then also there's one switch for the USB. You can also set up a schedule. So if you want everything to turn off at a particular time, uh, you wanna, like there's a, some light that you always, uh, or device that you always forget to turn off. You could add timer data and then have it turn on and off at different times of the, of the day. So the beauty of this is that you can take devices that aren't necessarily smart themselves and make them smart just by plugging into it. We were trying to think of different use cases. Maybe you have a kettle that you want to turn on from bed so the water's hot when you get down there. That could be cool. Uh, maybe you have a fan that you always forget to turn off and then you can turn it off from your phone while you're lying in bed. Or maybe you have a dumb lamp, which for some reason you keep around, like Jack keeps this one because it's fancy looking. Was this an antique? Is this old enough to be an antique? Bring it up to speed. We'll check this out. Wow. See, I didn't touch it. See, I didn't touch it. I didn't touch it. Look at that. Now you're able to keep this around another hundred years. Wow, it has no markings or anything? Antique Roadshow it. Oh, here you go. You have a marking. Holy sh Jack. This is crystal. This is made out of crystal. Look, it has a stamp. It's real crystal. Yeah, I don't know, a uh, hundred bucks. So as mentioned, setup of the light strip is a breeze. It's sticky already. So when it comes to putting it on the back of a television, as we've done here, it really just takes a couple of seconds. Now it doesn't need to be a television that you attach it to, even though that's the way they envision it. I can imagine this in a gaming setup on the back of a monitor, on the back of a desk even, up against like a light colored wall, you would get some cool ambient effects. But here you can see it's cycling through the RGB. Now, 
Uh, as far as the sort of bedside lamp, desk lamp, uh, this one you can actually control by tapping it as well, so you don't have to always jump into the app. Uh, but you can, of course, do more once you're in the app as far as setting up a variety of scenes, uh, setting up schedules, and of course responsiveness to music as we showcased previously. So the app just adds a little bit more control. But if you need to quickly interact with this, then you can tap the top of it to turn it on or off. So GoSund is having a deal on this variety of products for Amazon Prime Day, so check the links in the description for that. But then they're also having an added discount after Prime Day is over by using the offer code GOUNBOX. So you can still get some savings even if you miss out on the Prime Day deals. Plus, there's additional giveaways going on. It'll all be down in the description, so make sure to check that out.